A Minnesota man is believed to be the first active duty Air Force member to die of COVID-19. The family of 36-year-old Michael Moore says that he died nearly two weeks after he tested positive for the virus at his home near his base in Italy. WCCO's Liz Collins spoke with the family he leaves behind, still struggling to believe what happened. The number one thing I noticed was his smile. They grew up in small northern Minnesota towns. A sense of service sent Michael Morris from Cass Lake into the Air Force alongside Amanda's brother. He just had come home for Christmas and he calls me and he's just like, well, he's like, I want to marry you. For 14 years, she lived as the wife of an active duty military member. Morris deployed three times to Iraq and twice to Afghanistan, treasuring the time he spent with his three kids. He was a great father. Like, I never met anybody like the way that he fathered our kids. From Moody Air Force Base in Georgia, they moved to Aviano, Italy, as Morris made technical sergeant. COVID restrictions sent Amanda back to Minnesota as her husband stayed on base to work. He got tested on the 4th of January, and the positive results came out on the 6th. His slight cough turned into trouble breathing, but Amanda says her husband was advised not to go to the emergency room. On January 12th, Michael called an ambulance from home. It was under 10 minutes, and they were on the phone with him, and he just was unresponsive. Never in a million years did you think mm -mm. this is what would happen? No. The Air Force says it is actively investigating Michael's death, adding that he was highly respected and will be missed by many. We did do his services Monday and Tuesday, and it was very hard. <laughs> Amanda's doing her best to stay strong for her kids, still questioning her husband's final days. It's very hard to accept this. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. If it's determined COVID played a role in Michael Morris's death, he would be the 18th service member to die from the virus, but the first airman. There is a GoFundMe page set up to support his family, and you can find that at WCCO.com links.